Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet some bulrushes. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 11cm wide by 10cm or 4 and a quarter inches wide by 4 inches. The medium bulrush is crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook. Is 8 cm wide by 7.5 cm or 3 inches wide by 2 and 3 quarter inches. The small bull rushes crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 mm hook. Is 5 cm wide by 6 cm or 2 inches wide by 2 and a quarter inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today so the size will be between the medium and the large ones. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 515 emerald, 162 black coffee and 404 English tea. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, scissors and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. I'll be starting on the leaves. On this first leaf here, I've got my 515, the emerald, and I start with 12 chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the next three chain. For a slip stitch we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. We need a slip stitch in each of the next two chain as well. Then we work two single crochet in the following chain. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. We also need another single crochet in that stitch. And then we work one single crochet in each remaining chain. And that's the first leaf done. For the second leaf we turn our work and we'll work one slip stitch in each of the first six stitches up the side of the first leaf. So a slip stitch in each of the first six stitches. And then we work 17 chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the next four chain.
we work one single crochet in the following chain and two single crochet into the next chain. Then we work one single crochet into each remaining chain. Then we spin the first leaf around and work one slip stitch in the first stitch of the stem. So just in the bottom there. And that's the first two leaves done. For the third leaf, we turn our work and we slip stitch in each of the first eight stitches up the second leaf. Then we work 13 chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next four chain. One single crochet into the following chain and two single crochet into the next chain. Then one single crochet in each remaining chain. Then we spin our work around and we're going to work one slip stitch in each of the next seven stitches down the side. I'm just on to the first stitch of the stem. So that's the first three leaves done. For the fourth leaf, we start with 19 chain.
We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the next three chain. And then one single crochet in the following chain. Now we're going to work a joined single crochet over the next three chain. So we put our hook into the next chain and bring up a loop, hook into the following chain and bring up a loop, and then hook in the next chain and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. That will just bend the leaf over like that one. Then we work one single crochet in each chain to the last chain. Into our last chain we work two single crochet. And then slip stitch into the next stitch on the stem. For the fifth leaf we turn and work one slip stitch into each of the first three stitches. And then work seven chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the next two chain. and then one single crochet in each chain to the last chain. We work two single crochet into the last chain. Spin the leaf around and work one slip stitch in each stitch down to the end of the stem. and fasten off. And that's the leaves done. I give them a little bit of a press to get them into shape. I'll put something over them, a bit of material or a hanky or even a bit of paper towel just so I don't damage the crocheting. So there's the leaves. Now for the bulrushes we make two. I've got my 162, the black coffee, and we start with eight chain.
We miss two chain and work one double crochet in each remaining chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, the second from the hook and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. So we need a double crochet in each remaining chain. Then work two chain and slip stitch in the bottom of the last stitch and fasten off. And that's the first bull rush done. We'll work another one. We start with eight chain. Miss two chain and work one double crochet in each remaining chain. Work two chain and slip stitch in the bottom of the last stitch and fasten off. And that's the second ball rush done. Now for the stems I've got my 404 the English T and I'll work 26 chain for the first stem. If you're quite tight, you could work a few more. So about 26 chain. Then we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the next three chain. And then work about 19 chain for the second stem. And fasten off. And that's the stems worked. I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. There's my pieces. I've got the leaves, the stems and the bulrushes. The first things I do is attach a bulrush towards the top of each stem. I leave it about two or three stitches 
at the top. So in about there. The last thing we do is attach the bulrushes and stems in just in there between the third and fourth leaves. So I'll attach them and I'll be back to show you the finished bulrushes. And there's the finished bulrushes. The size is 8 centimetres wide by 10 centimetres or 3 inches wide by 3 and 3 quarter inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.